thought I'd do a carbonara, chicken carbonara in my Easter pot. I've got uh, 1200 grams of diced chicken breast, which I have done on the sauté setting in batches. I've got two brown onions. I've got about four rashes of bacon that I'd already cooked uh, over the weekend and froze. It is amazing what I've been freezing since I've lived here. Awesome. I have heaps of ground garlic, salt and pepper. Um, I just added a whole block of Philadelphia cheese. That's melting really nicely as well. So good. And I'm going to put some spinach in there. I'm going to put some broccoli in there as well, some frozen broccoli. I'm going to put in about half a pack of these large shells. And I've got some whipped cream here and I actually just separated two eggs and I've put two egg yolks in here and I've just mixed that in as well. This isn't uh, by any means healthy carbonara. <laughs> and in this bowl I have three cups of chicken stock and I've got some butter off the block, probably 100 grams of real butter, it's unsalted and my chicken stock cubes are actually unsalted as well so I've got enough that try season it up pretty good so it's still got some taste. We're gonna throw it in a bag of frozen broccoli too. I've put peas in it but Scarlet hates peas so we can leave them out. Not gonna matter. As long as we've got a few greens in there. It's all good. This smells so good though. I've got that going. And in my oven I've got a roast pork cooking. It smells so good. Been freezing roast pork leftovers, like slicing it up, ready for sangers. And I've been doing the chicken, like shredding down the chickens and freezing that. And I did cheese sauce the other day. I looked up if I could freeze that, and it said yep. And it looked a bit weird when I got it out, but I popped it in a pot and just mixed it up a little bit. And I put a little bit of milk in it and it came back really good so I was wrapped because my cheese sauce is to die for and it takes a long time to cook it. I do a roux and you've really got to cook it for a long time just to really cook that flour out of it, the, the taste of the flour. Um, so yeah, I was quite impressed with that. Um, yeah, and I've been doing like lemon squeezing, boiling lemons and juicing them up and freezing them in the ice cube trays. That it looks so beautiful. I'm gonna put some cheese in here as well, grated cheese. I put my liquids in and I put my bag of broccoli in and my spinach, I was sort of just trying to poke it down a little bit. I think it might need a little bit more liquid, but I'm pretty much at my max. My max line's like just out the top of my spoon. And I put about half a bag of shredded light cheddar cheese in there as well. It looks so good. I just hope it doesn't burn and get too dry. I'm gonna turn the saute setting off now. So the carbonara is done. It smells beautiful. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna try it. See how it went. Uh, it looks pretty delicious to me. It's in a little bowl, I think, so it's not too hot. The chicken carbonara is absolutely beautiful. Everyone's gonna love it. I let Scarlett have a try. That's my daughter. And she loved it. She's like, can I have some more? I'm like, no, it's for dinner. So we'll be having that. So I'm just gonna keep it on warm in the Instapot and yeah, we'll have that later. It's already 20 past four, hubby will be home in an hour. So dinner is done.